one more time. Couldn't leave well enough alone. Um, anyway, I'm getting three thousandths on the first one, two thousandths on the second one in from here, and then towards the flywheel I'm getting three thousandths on those. So according to the book I'm good. I'm within spec. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is just tear the case apart, check the camshaft thrust, the end play on that. Um, in my previous video, I took those thrust bearings and had to sand them because the camshaft wouldn't spin. So that's good. I just want to check the spec and make sure everything's great that way. If not, I have another set of bearings I can redo it. Um, I end up using the first set of bearings for the crankshaft in this last measurement. I like how that rear bearing sits better than in these other sets that I've got. Um, so I'm moving forward that way. Now the next thing I'm going to do is there's a modification that you do to the lifters where you put where they put a groove in the side of it so that it oils better. So I'm going to do that next um, and I'll show you what I've done there. Alright, so I had to redo my bearings. I had way too much end play on them. Got a little carried away with the sandpaper. So, just reset this guy. And I'm coming up with 0.2. It's generally about 0.25. But that's within spec. And that's what I'm going to go with. I'd rather have it a little tight than a little loose. Eight point two five. Anyway, it's right close to that. Point zero two. That's what I had on the other side. So moving on. All right. Here's my lifters. I bought these from CB Performance, and I'm supposed to be cutting some grooves. You can see where that sharpie line is. I'm going to do one, two, and three. So three grooves there. I'll be doing that on all eight of them. So let's get to work. I really don't have a way to get an overhead shot of this. So um, this is the best I can do. But I'm just going to take this Dremel tool and just kind of go just like that with it. So wish you luck. So, it's a little focus. All right, so eighth of an inch wide and about a sixteenth of an inch deep is what I was told they're supposed to be. So, hopefully that works out. There's one. I think I need to be a little more careful on the next one. This one looks a little deep, but I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. We'll soon find out, right? All the lifters are done. Um, I did all the little grooves in the sides of it. So now I need to check my connecting rods. Um, this is the old crankshaft here. I kept this for reference. Um, I did not take the rods off of it or any of that. These are stock VW rods here. Uh, there's a little bump right here. Um, everything I've watched and read and seen and all that say that these bumps go up. Uh, but the rods I bought do not have that. They're aftermarket. Um, in that case, um, there's where the tangs are, they go down. Um, I'll show you when I get to that point. Um, like I say, I kept this for reference. And uh, yeah, let's uh, do some connecting rod stuff. All right, old crankshaft, new crankshaft.
This one is not counterbalanced. You can see where their things are offset back and forth. This one is counterbalanced. It's a bigger crankshaft, 74 millimeters. I sent the crankshaft and the flywheel out, had that balanced. Um, the rods I bought from CB Performance, it's their Unitec I beams. Um, these, I weighed them, are 523.9 grams. And the other two are right at 524.2. So they're within half a gram ish. Uh, closer together than not. So um, I'm going to bolt these up, use some plastic gauge, and get a clearance on them. See what we got. I'm using these Klobenschmidt bearings, rod bearings. The other bearings I had were silver line. Those are for the main bearings. They say Klobenschmidt's better for the rods. So anyway, that's what I'm using. All right. So here's my one of the rods. And uh, there's some numbers here. They need to stay together. I don't know if you can see that. Otherwise, let's pull it apart here. And we'll pull these bearings out and get that going. Okay, so here's the bearings. There's these little tangs right here. And the bearing just kind of slips in there. Sort of. <laughs> here, it's going to take a second, I guess. Nothing's easy, right? Okay, so. There we go. And then the bearing just slides in there. Just like that. And there's a tang on each side. There's one right here also, right there. And that just slips on in there. And these are standard bearings for new rods. And then I need to bolt it to the crankshaft and see how, how they fit. All right. This stuff is plastic gauge. There's different thicknesses. They're basically just a little piece of wax. And then once you tighten everything down, you, you match up the width of whatever this bar is. Um, for this, I'm using the green. That's the smaller. These are a lot bigger. So, just wanted to show you that so you know what it is. Probably already know anyway, but, you know, what the hell. Okay, so there's the plastic gauge sitting on there. The tangs on these go opposite of, they go down, basically. Um, the stock rods have a little bump on them, uh, which I showed you earlier. And then the tang is on the opposite side, so these need to go this way, if that makes sense. So I'm going to try and slide this in here without screwing stuff up. You really don't want it to move, right? Those numbers should match up end to end. Man, it's going to take a second to get it threaded on there anyway. So. They've got those little, uh, uh, whatever you call them, those splines on these things, and they're hard to move or whatever. Get them on there. I'm going to uh, tighten that up, then get a, I'm also going to measure with my micrometers and stuff also. This is just another way to do it. is I can't remember I think it's like two thousands is what I'm shooting for. And I am not a professional 
but I like doing my own stuff. Now we'll get the torque wrench and uh, torque it up. Alright, so stock rods are supposed to go to like 25 foot pounds. Uh, the spec on these is 29, is what I read on CB's website. So, let's uh, torque her up. I'm going to kind of do these in stages so I don't tighten it down all the way at once, type thing. Alright, so now that it's all put together, now we just take it back apart. So all we're trying to do is get a get a reading on this. Hard parts, you don't want to move them. And I just moved it, so we'll see how that ends up going. Then getting suckers apart is not too easy either with those splines. So, like I say, I'm going to measure it otherwise, but hopefully that worked. Um, you're supposed to do it on here, and there's I can tell that's two thousandths. Checking both, um, that's what it looks like. So I'm going with two thousandths on that guy. Process is the same on all four of these. Um, I'm not going to do each individual one and show you and bore you to death. So I'll just do those off camera and uh, then we'll move on from there. All right. So I just got done checking my. Uh, rod bearing clearances with the cam or with the crankshaft <laughs> um, and they checked out at two thousands so that's good um, everything should check out right because everything is new but you still gotta check it so I did um, I'm still waiting on other parts to actually put things together um, I'm waiting on a new camshaft gear and really mainly the bolts. Um, these bolts came with the camshaft and they're fine probably but uh, they have these little button type ones because your uh, your uh, oil pump, the drive for the oil pump goes in this little groove here so you've got a, a clearance, could have a clearance issue with the bolts and the oil pump. So that being said I think I'm gonna wait till uh, that new gear and the other comes that way I got in case this one's too tight or whatever I can switch them out and either way I'm definitely going to use the other bolts they're a little hex head thing with a little button on top instead of the big bolt I just don't want to have any torment that way I did clearance this out um, for these bolts but I just think the others will be better so with that said I think this will be the end of this video um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.